I've got an easy project for you today to light up your pumpkin for Halloween. It is a fading LED using just a 555 timer. Hey, what's happening guys? I thought today we could take a look at a really simple circuit using a 555 timer, a capacitor, and a transistor to make a fading ramping LED that you can power with a 9 volt battery and stick inside your pumpkin. It's a super easy circuit. It's basically a play on the uh, A-stable multi-vibrator function of the 555 timer. So we start with our 555 timer and we take pins 8 and pins 4 which is our VCC and our reset and we pull them high. Pin 1 which is our ground pin we pull low. Pin 2 and 6 are control voltage and our threshold we hook together and they go to the positive side of our capacitor. Now in this case to make this a nice and slow ramp I'm using a 1000 microfarad capacitor. Now we have a 2N2222 transistor up here. You can use any NPN transistor that you have on hand. The collector goes to VCC. The emitter goes to a 100 ohm current limiting resistor for the LED which goes to ground. The base of the transistor connects through this 10K current limiting resistor uh, to the output pin 3 of the 555 timer but it also connects to the capacitor so we're getting when that goes high we're getting a, a, a voltage charge also into that capacitor when it goes low the capacitor will discharge and we'll get that nice slow ramp up and down really easy so far well, really easy all the way because that's all there is to it but what I want to show you is how the capacitor charging and discharging is actually changing the characteristics of the 555 timer okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at this I'm going to take out the thousand microfarad capacitor put in a hundred just so this is easier to visualize what's going on see how it's much faster now so I'm going to bring in the scope here let's see if we can adjust the camera a little bit so you can see the scope if we look at the output from the 555 hit the auto set here you can see it switching between high and low let's see if I can't slow that down a little bit there we go so you can see the square wave output from the 555 timer but if we come over here and we take a look at our output from the capacitor you can see we no longer have a square wave but we have an exponential or logarithmic charge and discharge from our capacitor you see let me adjust the voltage here there we go now you get a much better look at how that capacitor is actually shaping the charge and discharge and what you can do is simply change your timing by changing the capacitor to get it wherever you want it an easy project you can do in just a few minutes you know you can do it with your kids 
and make yourself a nice Halloween pumpkin light. Like I'm using a uh, white LED here, but you could easily change that to another color. Let's see. Got to get my fingers going here. Like for instance, here's a red one. And you'll get the same effect. There it is up. And going down. So, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Alright, well I don't have much pumpkin carving abilities. But you get the idea. So let me get that in there. One second. There we go. <laughs> and let me turn out the lights. There we have our dimming and glowing pumpkin, all set for Halloween. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching and supporting this channel. We're at over 96,000 subscribers, and when we get to 100,000 subscribers, we're going to do a bunch of fun giveaways, so I hope you guys are around for that. All right, that's it. I'm out. Happy Halloween and peace.